I've played one time since my last vlog, but it was in the pouring down rain and I didn't think I was going to break 100. So I'm gonna try again. And this is what I have on. I have no manicure. I'm just waiting for the sun to come up. Eat some breakfast. Listening to some Mariah Carey. Well, I want my scorecard so I can write out the adjusted par and I have my plan on my phone for how I'm gonna hit this and break 100. <laughs> So I just hit my tee shot, I'm a little to the right, but the sun is a lot brighter than it was. There's a group in front, nobody behind. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Hole number three, I already know I'm not going to break 100, but I'm still having a lot of fun. I just hit my drive and it was pretty low, but it stayed straight. And I can actually play it from here, so I'm not mad at it. The weird low drive went so much further than I thought. I'm gonna take the distance of this guy. I'm 159 from the pin. Quick greens on hole number four. I really messed that one up. I think I got the double net bogey. I'm not breaking 100, but this is my literally favorite weather to golf in. <laughs> it is overcast. I think it's like 45 degrees. It's perfect for golf. And I'm on hole number four. I just hit a drive. It was nice and straight, but I was trying to hit a draw draw, but okay so now we walk on it's pretty empty right now driver four hybrid seven iron sand I'm not a far hitter man I cannot believe it I super aimed for the bunkers which are all the way on the left and I'm on the fairway but on the very right of it <laughs> I'm trying for a draw last night at the driving range I was hitting all draws like nothing went right not like correct nothing went to the right it was all left and now every time I'm here I hit to the right and I try to make my swing path right so that it goes left. I try to close my club face, strengthen my grip. I don't know. I got so scared. I really wanted that green in regulation, so I got hyper and I just topped it. <laughs> yards. I could have totally got this in the green with my seven. I so do not deserve to be from Queen. my first par on a par five and I don't even realize it. Girl, learn some math. Like I said, this is my favorite weather so I'm in a super good mood. And I just really like walking. I use push carts or pull carts, whatever. I love it. I love like walking and observing the course and it's really good exercise. I'm not on a diet or anything, but I've lost a lot of weight from going to the range and the course. Penalty on six, mulligan on seven. I'm just gonna punch this back under the fairway, not try to do a hero shot through the trees. I try that every time and it fails. Ooh, I can't do that one. I gotta do that one. I 
just had to back on the fairway. Didn't want to ruin my day. Every time I mess up this hole, I try to do a hero shot through the trees. And when you're trying to break 100, there's no hero shot, only stupid shots. So I just got it back out and I won't get as grumpy. That poop. Someone have poop on their shoe. There's a hole that I've posted a couple times because I can get a bogey on it. And I just, there were people and I just got nervous and I'm not consistent at golf yet. I'm not like a triple on it. That was one I was kind of counting on getting that bogey, you know? I think that I try to swing too hard on par fives and that's a mental thing I need to get over. But also I've never hit here before. Like this is my first time doing the whole 18 holes. So it's just a mental game and you have to definitely learn like technique for swings and approaches and all that. But you also have to learn your mental, try to get in the correct mindset. It sounds easier than it really is, by the way. Yeah, I try to play to my swing shape but I always accidentally like overcompensate. If I hit to the right, I'll aim for something to the left, but then I'll like position myself to where my ball ends up there instead of aims there to go straight instead. Does that make any sense? I can't do that fake aiming for something else. It messes with my brain. The last time I went to the driving range, I was hitting all draws. All my drives were going in the air, just really pretty. And now like I'm towing everything, but I'm really ready for lunch. This is hole 17 and let's see what we got. pretty comfortable doing further shots onto the green, but like I didn't use my four hybrid because it was 141 yards away from the pin, but right behind this hole, there's that little par three that had the groundskeepers on it. And I don't want to hit anybody. If I connect, I can get like 157. So I didn't want to do it. And then now it's 89 yards away because I topped my shot. And I just, I want to use my sand wedge because I don't want to use my pitching wedge and potentially connect and do my best yardage and hit anyone. So that's kind of tough. I don't think I'm great at course management because I'm just too scared of like hitting anybody. I didn't want to tell myself it wasn't my favorite. That was my least favorite yardage to the green, 27, but I didn't want to tell myself that right before I hit it, so that was okay. greens I was so scared of for the other hole it's so far away and there's like a forest between us and a backstop on the green so I'm so glad I found that out because next time I'm doing four hybrid and I'm not trying to play this one short I totally could have got on the green at three less shots and I would not have been in danger of hitting anybody at the putting green good to know good to know so that was the first time doing 18 holes that is so many more than nine. Oh my goodness I'm tired course knowledge is very important aside from talent and skill and golf swings but also just knowing what the hole is what you're hitting into I've never done the back nine before so that was like a really fun time what's up, what's up, yeah. I'm Every time you see me, I look good. Yeah. I make money. <laughs>